Hello everyone. So let us move on to the next part that is solving a double integral uh, using two point Gauss quadrature. So this is the problem that we are going to solve. So this problem we have to solve it using uh, by analytically and by using two point Gauss quadrature. Okay. So I hope here all of you might be knowing how to solve a double integral. So if in case you're not knowing, just, just uh, listen to what I'm saying now. Okay. I'll be first solving it uh, analytically. And then what you can do, uh, and then, then what we are going to do is we are going, we are going to use two point Gauss quadrature to solve this problem. Okay. So what we are going, oh, this is the problem. This is minus one, one, zero, two. So whenever you solve uh, double integrals, okay, integrals involving two variable, okay, what you have to do is you have to perform two integration. First integration using the first variable and second integration using the second variable. Okay, so let us say this is a function and this is it. So what I'm doing is I'm saying that this thing here is dx. Okay. And then this is going to be dy. Now what we are going to do is we are going to perform integration. So we are going to perform integration with respect to dx and by keeping y as a constant. So wherever you see y, that is going to be a constant. Okay. So if we do that, you'll realize that this is going to be integration of minus one, one, this is going to be integration from zero to two. Okay. Now let us not write integration again. Let us directly do this. And this is going to be x cubed divided by three minus two y square two x plus y cube x square divided by 2 this is going to be from limits 0 to 2 okay now once you substitute the limits what you are going to get will be an equation which is purely in y that is going to be 8 divided by 3 minus of 4y square plus 2y cube into dy. Now what we are going to do is, now we are going to perform this integration. So again, this is going to be, let us not write integration again. This, let's let me write it down here. It's going to be much better. So then integral of i is going to be 8 divided by 3 into y minus of 4 y cube divided by 3 plus 2 into y raised to 4 divided by 4 where the limits are from minus 1 to 1. So once you put all the limits and you solve it you realize the value comes out to be 2.667. Okay. So one thing we have to remember that the value of i that we have got analytically is 2.66667 okay now let us move on to the main event that is solving this double integral using two point cos quadrature okay now you tell me what is the first step okay now again again it's always a good thing okay now I'll, I'll be doing this is I'll, I'll be grouping this I'll first solve this integral then I'll find out the other integral the other integral okay so this is the double integral that we have to solve so what I'm going to do is this integral that is inside it is with respect to x 
I'm going to solve this int integral uh, using two point Gauss quadrature. And once I um, I have solved it, I'll be getting a function. And if you if you just think a bit, you'll realize the function that we'll be getting will be purely a function of y. And again, that function we are going to replace it here. And again, we are going to apply two point cos quadrature. Okay. So let us move on to this. Let me use a different color pen this time. Okay. So let us say f of y. I'm using I'm solving the inside the inner integral. This is going to be x square minus of two y square plus x y cube dx. Now we all know that this is nothing but a. This is nothing but b. Okay. So the very first thing, if you want to apply two-point Gauss quadrature, what you have to do, you have to change the integrals from minus one to one. Okay, and for doing so, I I gave you one formula that is x is equal to uh, b plus a divided by two plus b minus a divided by two into x t. Okay, now if you apply the same formula. You'll get the value, or you'll get the equation of x is equal to one plus x. Just substitute the value of uh, a and b, and you'll reach at this point. And uh, again, we have to replace dx as well. So dx derivative this equation. Dx is equal to dx. So the equation is going to be. If you just want to verify this again, you can just substitute uh, x is equal to zero, and you'll realize it comes out to be minus one. Then you substitute two, it comes out to be one. Okay, so we have already uh, reached at a level where, where I, I hope you guys understand what we are doing. So this is minus one, one, and we have to replace x with one plus x t. So this is going to be one plus x t square. Plus two, y is going to be the same. We are not going to do anything with y. Plus one plus x t with respect to y. This is going to be t x. Okay. Now understand one thing. This thing is your f x. Okay. So according to two point Gauss quadrature. This should be x d zero c one x d one. And what is the value of uh, c and d? Uh, c and x d for two point Gauss quadrature. I'm sorry. So from the table you can see for two point Gauss quadrature the value of uh, c is one uh, c zero is one c one is one. And x zero, which is nothing but x t zero for us, is minus of zero point five seven seven three five. It's going to be x one x t one. It's going to be zero point five seven seven three five. I'm just truncating it at the fifth decimal. Okay. So once you substitute this value of x zero, uh, this value of x one, in this equation, you'll find out uh, that the value of uh, of uh, f of x is equal to. You can just substitute and you'll verify that you will get this kind of equation. That is, where c zero is one. That is two point four eight eight. Minus of t two y square plus one point five seven seven three five y cube plus again it's going to be one it's going to be one this is going to be zero point one seven eight six three minus two y square plus zero point four 
0.2265 and when you simplify it further uh, the value let me again change the color here just so that it looks nice so the value of fy if you simplify this the value of <coughs> is that you will be getting is 2.667 minus of 4y square plus 2y so now what we are going to do is we are going to substitute this value of fy here okay so i becomes integral of minus 1 1 2.6667 minus 4y square plus 2y cube dy okay now let us solve this uh, using gauss quadrature again so what is the condition to be able to apply the formula of gauss quadrature the limit should be from minus 1 to 1 and luckily for this part our limits are from minus 1 to 1 so we don't have to change the limit we can directly apply the formula c0 yd0 plus c1 fyd1 again from the table what, the, what should be the value of the constants so again c1 should be equal to 0 I'm sorry I think a mistake here c0 equal to 1 and c1 equal to 1 and y d0 that is equal to y0 okay so no doubt here it is it is written y x but it is any generic value like it can be x y z any variable okay so you should understand this they have just mentioned uh, x but that doesn't mean it's x it's, it's any generic value can be y so it's going to be minus of 0 0.57735 and y d1 is going to be y1 0 0.57735 okay so now when you substitute these values I'm sorry I'm really sorry when you substitute these values in this function So what you are going to get is uh, this is going to be i is going to be equal to c0 is 1 okay and just substitute the value in this equation and you will realize that the value of uh, let me write it here first and then yeah so the value of fy T zero okay don't get confused here let us return capital F okay or is you might think that it's a new function no it's it's the same function it is here and yes when you substitute that uh, this comes out to be zero point nine four eight four and f y d1 comes out to be 1.71826 and when you substitute these values here and here the value of i comes out to be 2.6667 which is wow it's very 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 close i mean in fact it's the, it's the same as the analytical value which is which is a great thing okay so this is how you are going to solve uh, double integral problems using two point gauss quadrature you can also solve it by three point gauss quadrature four point gauss quadrature but it's going to be very math intensive you cannot solve it by hand you have to uh, use uh, MATLAB for that okay now the same idea can be extended 
to a triple integral i i, I don't know if uh, if i feel i might uh, ask a problem of triple integral uh, in your assignments okay and uh, so i hope now you how how this should this you can extend it to a triple integral okay so i think this is it this was the last uh, part that we needed to discuss in uh, numerical integration i hope you guys will enjoy this series of lecture this lecture and thank you very much